Hey guys, the native integration between the MindPal AI agent and other apps like Airtable, Google, or Gmail is here. So for a very long time, when building an AI agent on MindPal, for example, I go to the agent, for example, this one, and you can build the agent with tools, for example, the code interpreter, image generation, or web scraping, but most of us will also have integrations with the tools that you already use. For example, Airtable, Google Docs, Drive, etc. So today we introduce a native integration in MindPal that provides the integration between the MindPal agent and other app. So the agent will be able to, for example, pull data from other apps or it can perform actions like creating another Google document, adding rows into an Airtable database or creating a page in Notion. So there is a small difference here between the native integration and MCP. In the MCP, you will need to expose your own MCP server to put into MindPal and the agent will be able to use the MCP server and tune into that MCP. But the native integration will be easy Easier, where it provides direct access, you don't need to learn about MCP and manage the MCP zone, so it's adding an option for you. So let me share an example use case for you on how you can leverage this feature. So for example, let me go to the SEO folder and find this MindPal SEO blog post writer. So here is my agent, and the process that I will demo to you guys is the process where I ask the agent to do research and then write a blog post and then create a doc in Google Docs about that blog post. So we will go to the integration here, go to the native integration, and select the Google Docs tool here, and I select two actions, create document or create markdown document. I just select more of them because I think that the blog post will be in markdown format. And to connect MindPal with Google Docs or Google Sheets, you just need to click the connect button here. So I already connected with Google Docs now, so no need to connect now. But for example, let me do an example with a Google Sheet file. I click the connect and there will be a button here, a pop-up here. I will click the pop-up and we go here and it is my personal email. And we go back to here and you see it shows that Google Sheet is connected now. But we are using Google Docs now, so no need to select Google Sheet. We update this agent and now let's use it in action. So I could ask this agent to, so I ask it to write a blog post about the latest Claude 4 model. And I asked it to do research first because Claude 4 is a very new model that probably doesn't have it will not have context analysis and it needs to use a website to know more about cloud four and then add to my Google note. So let's start this process. So the agent is starting to do research about the keyword cloud four to find more information about this model to like kickstart the process. And here is its summarization about its research. And so you know that Claude has two new models, Claude Sonnet four and Claude Opus. And after doing the research, this agent will start doing keyword research on keywords like Claude 4 and other long tail keywords that needs to be fit in, that needs to focus on when it writes the blog post for me. And now it starts to write the blog post here with the plan with all the research. Okay, we will wait until it's finished the writing before it starts doing... Okay, before it's adding to Google Docs, it's also doing some Pexel search to incorporate some stock images into the blog post too. And it's also adding some internal linking to other blog posts on MindTal to make the content more engaging. And it's now it will create the workflow and we will see. Okay, it said that the blog is done. I will ask it what is the Google link to confirm, like to easily connect with the link that was just created. Okay, I will copy this link and open it. Okay, and you guys can see the blog post created in my Google Docs here. So that is how you see this agent will know how it can connect with your tools to perform actions and in combination with other tools. And you can imagine a lot of possibilities with this new feature. For example, you have an agent that can read emails and summarize and prioritize them for you every day. You have an agent for searching knowledge sources in Google Drive or Notion, or you have an agent that can publish content into Google Docs, update content into Google Sheets or Airtable, and in the future, we will even add more tools into this native integration with CRM, with CMS, and basically everything that you have been using wirelessly every day. I hope this feature will be useful for you, and 
happy building.